Happy Thursday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about God's timing. How to speed it up. Anybody interested in speeding up God's timing? I bet all of you are. Put your hands up so I can see. Thank you. I bet all of you are. Let's learn how to speed up God's timing. If you're not getting your prayers answered very quickly, something is wrong. Let's speed it up. Let's find out what's wrong, eliminate the problem, and the answer will come through. Amen? There's always a reason when you don't get your prayers answered right away. Always. And it's not God's timing. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart. Getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. I'm getting better looking every day. I had to fix myself up this morning. My entourage isn't, has not arrived yet. They make, sometimes they make a grand entrance when they get here. We're here, we're here. I say, that's wonderful. They're great people. Huh? My entourage, I don't know where those people are. But I know I'm getting better looking every day. Ladies, look in the mirror every day. I want you to look in the mirror every day and say, I am beautiful. Men, say I am beautiful. I can see myself right now, and I am beautiful. Let me, let me just say this. For 34 years of age, I look pretty good. I look good for a 34-year-old. I'm not embarrassed to tell people I'm 34. People tell me I don't look my age. Huh? I think I look pretty good for a 34-year-old. I may not look like a teenager quite yet, but I look pretty good for 34, I think. Glory to God. I am wonderful. Say I am a wonderful person. Say everything always works out for me. Everything always works out for me. You start talking like that, watch what happens. Everything will always work out for you. You hear that a lot from me when you call me. I always say, everything will work out for you. And it does. Why? Because I said so. Because I proclaimed it. You shall decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you, God's word said. Jesus said, say it and believe it and receive it. Mark eleven twenty three. So I do, and it does. God's word works exactly the way he says it does. If you do what he said, you will get what he said you have. Amen. Hey, I want to get into this today. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, and hit the like button on these videos. And uh, if you're watching them on Facebook, hit the like button too, because that makes sure that Facebook will show them to you. Amen. So praise God for that. And share these, please. Share these. Our message today, and make sure you call me when you do your offerings and donations. Today is the last day of September. Can you believe that? 2021. So these videos are out there forever on YouTube and on Facebook. So if you're watching these videos years from now, this is uh, the last day of September, 2021. How many of you know these videos will be out there hundreds of years from now? People will watch these videos if Jesus tarries. Amen. He may even watch them even then. I don't know. I, have, I don't know how it's all going to work. People say, how's it going to work, Pastor Jim? I say, I don't know. But I know it's going to be great. Amen. God's timing. You can speed it up. I'm telling you, let me just... 
give you a list of some of the articles and videos on God's timing. Stop rushing God's timing, they say. God's timing is always right, they say. Waiting on God's timing. Oh, there's a lot of those videos. Can you trust God's timing? God says, trust my timing. Trust God's timing. Prayer and waiting. God's word works while we wait. Learn how to trust God's timing. All these people. You know what I say to all these people? <laughs> None of these people know anything about prayer. They don't know anything about prayer. Bless their hearts. Charles Stanley, Joyce Meyer, Stephen Furtick, all those people, they don't know anything about prayer. They just want to preach about it. Now, that's a fact. That's a fact. Believe me, if you're out there preaching this crap, I'm going to be calling you out on it. Just talking about God's timing is right now. Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith, it says. Faith is now. Jesus didn't say, well, go on home and you'll be healed in God's timing. No. He healed them right now. Let me ask you a question. When you pray for salvation, is God's timing an issue? When you ask God for forgiveness, is God's timing an issue? Well, go back and sit down, my son. God will forgive you when the timing is right. Wrong. No, God's timing is right now. It's in the book. In the book. When prayers have not been answered, many people will sigh and say, well, God's timing is... How many times have you heard people say, God's timing is perfect? I'm telling you what. If I had a million dollars for every time somebody says that, I'd have lots of million dollars. Amen? God's timing. Ugh. Charles Stanley says, you're praying for healing all the time. But you have to understand, maybe God doesn't want to heal you. You know what I say to him? Stop preaching! You have no idea what you're talking about. God wants to heal you, and God wants to heal you now. God wants to bless you. God wants to bless you now. If you haven't received a blessing, if you haven't received your healing, something is wrong. Amen. Something is wrong. Let's find out what it is. It can be a bunch of things. Guy stood up at our church one day. He says, I don't know why, he says, but God's making me wait. I said, wrong. God is not making you wait. You are making you wait. God doesn't make people wait. Uh -huh. Why would he? Why would God make you wait? God's going to leave you sick for a while. Because he wants you to wait. Just be patient. Wrong. Patience is very overrated. Very overrated. Amen. People say, well, God's time. You know, people make... These all are excuses for unanswered prayer. They're all excuses. The minute you make an excuse for unanswered prayer, you are on your way to not getting your prayer answered. 
Everybody wants to blame God because it takes the blame off of them. When I wasn't receiving abundance, I knew who the, what the problem was. The problem was me. It wasn't God. Put the blame where the blame belongs. There's always a reason when you don't receive from God right away. And it's never God's fault, and it's never God's timing. In Daniel chapter 10, he didn't receive an answer to his prayer for 21 days. Come to find out, the devil was blocking it. You can speed up God's timing a lot of times simply by binding the devil before you pray. So the devil can't block the answer from coming through. The devil is up there. He's trying to block the answer from coming through. He's trying to block what you got coming to you. When, when, when you pray about something, whoever is, you know, God uses people to bless you. And if somebody is coming to bless you, the devil is going to try to block them. Bind him. What you bind on earth is bound from heaven. Sometimes people call me and say, Pastor Jim, I really need my rent by, by tomorrow. And I'll say, in the name of Jesus, I bind the devil in this prayer. And then I say, you will get your rent. And they get it. Because the devil can't block the answer from coming through. He can't block. Because if God's going to provide your rent for you, he's going to do it through another person or through people or through some kind of a blessing. He's going to, he's going to provide for you. He will use other people to get your prayer answered for you. Or he'll cause angels to bring it to you. But the devil can block all these. Bind the devil. Amen. Jesus said in Mark eleven twenty four, 24, when you pray, believe that you receive. If, you, if you're not receiving the answer to your prayer, it's probably because you're not believing you receive. It's a faith problem. There's always a problem. It might be unforgiveness. If you're not receiving from God, uh, it, Jesus said, when you pray, in Mark eleven twenty five, 25, he said, when you pray, forgive other people. You, If you have unforgiveness in you, God's not going to answer your prayer. And you men out there, if you're not honoring your wife, God is not going to answer your prayer. It's very, the Bible is very clear about that. You're not going to get your prayer answered if you don't honor your wife. Women, you have to honor your husband too, or God won't answer your prayer. I mean, let's get real here. If, if you're not receiving the answer to your prayer, something is wrong. I will help you find out why. I want everybody to be blessed. Folks, I, everybody knows I am the how-to preacher. I am all about results. And if we're not getting results, let's find out what's wrong. Because something is wrong, and it is never God's fault. The fault is always here. So let's find out why we're not getting the results. Amen? I get thousands of prayers answered for people. All the time. I tell people, just be quiet. If you keep your mouth shut, I'll get your prayers answered for you. Somebody say, well, Pastor Jim, no, shut up. And let God answer your prayers. Let's get rid of these obstacles. Get rid of these problems. Get rid of these hindrances. We'll get your prayers answered for you. Because God's timing is right now. And we can speed it up. Many times just by binding the devil. Glory to God. Daniel could not bind the devil. He didn't have the name of Jesus. But we do. You call me. I'll get your prayer speeded up for you and we'll get the answer right now.